let's talk about the surface area of pyramids and how we can calculate the surface area of pyramids. Now, most of you have seen a pyramid before. Of course, that picture in the very front uh, slide you, you saw, those are uh, uh, from Egypt. You've seen pictures of those or whatever, but what really is a pyramid? So a pyramid uh, is just uh, several polygons molded together to form a three-dimensional shape. And if you'll notice, the pyramid is made up of a lot of triangles. That lateral area, the, all the sides of that pyramid are just basically flat triangles. Okay, they're all folded up from a base, which can be any shape. The base can be a, a square, it can be a rectangle, it can be a hexagon or octagon or whatever it is, okay? Um, but a pyramid is just a base with a bunch of triangles along the sides uh, for its lateral faces. So, if we wanted to figure out the surface area of a pyramid, we could handle that individually, okay? There's a formula that we're gonna talk about but we can handle each piece separately since they're all made up of flat shapes, right? We've got flat triangles, we have a flat base shape, whatever that is. Uh, and so if we can calculate the area of each independent uh, piece or each separate piece, then we can just add them all together, okay? Uh, a couple of the terms before we get into the rest of this, slant height. Slant height is what you're gonna need for surface area. The slant height, as you'll notice down here on the bottom, that slant height is the height of the triangle that you're gonna need uh, to calculate surface area. So again, in order to calculate that area of that triangle, we need the base and the height of that particular triangle, and we call that height the slant height. The height in the middle of a pyramid, we use that for volume, okay? So the height in the middle just goes down from the uh, vertex up here down to the center. We'll get into volume later on that, uh, but that is only used for volume to find surface area, which is the outside. Uh, we need that outside slant height. Now, as I said, we can solve for this by breaking this out into pieces, okay? So if we laid this pyramid flat, this is a regular pyramid, which means that our uh, base is a regular polygon, meaning all sides of the same length. And if we have a quadrilateral with all sides of the same length, that is a square. So this is a square pyramid. So what we could do if we wanted to is we could just take this triangle here, calculate using the height of that triangle and the base of that triangle, we can do base times height divided by two. We can figure out what that triangle was. Since we have a square on the bottom, that means that all of these lengths are gonna be the same and we're multiplying them all by the same slant height, okay? So we can just take that area, we calculate that base times height divided by two and we can multiply that by four because all four of these triangles are gonna be the same length, or, or sorry, gonna have the same area. And then if we added all those together, well, we'd still have to add the base uh, here as well. And to find the area of a square, you just do length times width. And if that was any other shape as the base, you would just use whatever formula you need in order to solve for the area of that shape. If it was a triangle, you would do another base times height divided by two of the triangle. If it was an octagon, you would use a potham times perimeter divided by two. So whatever the formula is, is what you're gonna use to solve for that base. Now, this formula that you see on your screen here, right here, this kind of shortcuts it a little bit. This lateral area formula, which is part of the surface area formula, that lateral area formula kind of, kind of uh, does things in a different order, okay? Instead of finding the area of one triangle where we're taking the base times the height of that triangle and dividing by two and then multiplying it by four, we can use this perimeter of the base since all of these triangles on the outside are the same, okay? then all those base lengths of those will be the same. And if we add all those together, or if we multiply that base length of the triangle by four, we get the perimeter of the base, okay? So we can use the perimeter of the base since everything's being multiplied by this height of the triangle, the slant height's gonna be the same no matter what. We can just do this in a different order. And we can take the perimeter of that base, multiply it by the slant height, and then divide by two. So instead of uh, multiplying this out for one triangle and then multiplying it by four, we're taking the base of that triangle, multiplying it by four to get the perimeter, and then we're uh, completing the rest of our formula. So you can also rewrite this formula for the lateral area as perimeter times slant height divided by two. Slant height, by the way, if you didn't notice that earlier, uh, is represented by that cursive L there. So perimeter would be a perimeter of your base. The slant height would be that uh, cursive L, which is right there, uh, and that's part of our lateral area. And then in our surface area formula, we take that lateral part, which is right there, and we add the area of our base. And again, we just 
just signify that with a V because that base could be any shape. You just use whatever the formula is for that shape. In this case, we would do length times the width of that square. And then we would just add that to the lateral area. Let's do an example. We're actually going to break this down separately. We'll show you how to do it with, uh, uh, we're going to use the formula here. Uh, but again, if you don't understand what that formula is, you guys, you got four triangles. Just multiply, find one triangle, multiply that by four. All of them are, are going to be the same. And then add that to the, the area of your base. So we're going to break this out into the base area, the lateral area, then we're going to add it all together. So the base in this case is a square. You see it right here, it's an eight by eight square. So again, to find the area of a square, you can either do side squared or length times width or base times height, whatever you want to call it. In this case, we're taking the two dimensions that are at perpendicular to each other. So they meet at a 90 degree angle. We can use these two sides of the square. So just multiply eight times eight, which is 64. So the area of that base is 64 square meters. To find the lateral area, we're going to use that. We're going to use the perimeter times the slant height divided by two, or one half of the perimeter times the slant height. We're given the slant height, which is 11.7. The perimeter, if we added up all the sides of this base, the perimeter of the base is what we need. Each one of these would be eight, 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 all that added together then would be 32. Or again, you can take one side and multiply by four because they're all the same. So the perimeter would be eight times four, which is 32. So that's gonna go into our formula here. We're going to take the slant height of 11.7 and plug that in. So we do 32, which is our perimeter, times 11.7. Multiply those together, divide by 2. 32 times 11.7 divided by 2. That area is 187.2 square uh, meters. And so for the total surface area, we're taking the base area. We're taking the lateral area. We're adding all that together. And if we add the 64 to the 187.2, our total area, uh, our surface area, would be 251.2 square meters. So that's pretty much it. Okay. Again, if the base shape changes, you just use a different formula for your base, depending upon what the shape is. That lateral area, take the perimeter of your base. If this is a regular prism, take the perimeter of your base, multiply by the slant height, and divide by 2, and then just add everything together.